strings exist because sound not only wants to be heard but also seen. Life is so vivid. I love to live it. I'm acting it out without a TV screen. Because I'm not a box and my mind is not. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to play around with these roaming dreams. These thoughts are a boat and they like to float down my imagination's roaring stream. I can only talk about what I live and what I've got to give is a mixture between hot peppers and ice cream. Meaning I'm cooler than some, warm up in the sun, and can get it hotter than any Celsius a degree. My language is rhyme, so I write it on lines, keep rhythm and time when you hear me speak. If coolness was a class, I could give you a pass, because I'd be the one that they hired to teach. I can take you deeper than caves buried under the waves of the Atlantic or Baltic Sea. Or I can take you higher than airplane flyers, looking down at storm clouds they begin to recede. Or I can be the lightning, repetitively striking the same place in the forest, igniting the trees. Or I could be the wind blowing, the energy flowing, bringing life to all of the fallen leaves. Though whatever I choose, the one thing I want to prove is that sound, words, and rhythm go hand in hand. Just like prayers and knees, honey and bees, locks and keys, shores and sand. So I got a plan to spread like a rumor, infecting as many as I can, like the laughs of undeniable humor, with perspectives that last past what we learned in school, past the conditioning placed on us as soon as we exit the womb, and far beyond the tomb and its pile of earth, even past the first memory of this planet's birth, and before the moment when petals of matter reached its first bloom, to coalesce and create what is now me and you, and far beyond the stars and past the light they shine, past all the black holes and rips in time, past this universal clock that we all live by, and back to the fire that burns behind the window of our eyes.